We are live. We are at McGlowan Theater, Blumenthal Arts, Spirit Square. We've had our Stop the Violence Day for the year 2021. Very excited about this initiative. Some wonderful performances from Justice League, Akia Canada, Big Red. And we got some more, Brother Marifa Ukweli from the League of Intelligence with that powerful workshop made for the community, by the community, really talking about the African diaspora, talking about our culture, our legacy, and how we're gonna build our children up. Good morning, everyone. It is so good to be here, especially to see our young people already out and participating in something that's really important today. You will see the power and the energy as we have people work together and collaborate to make things happen. Those who are going to stand up and to bring that, that positive light, that self-love, that teaching, it has to stay consistent. Preventing gun violence is kind of a radical, revolutionary conversation. And so we highlighted that point that we're going against the grain. We highlighted certain areas that'll help prevent gun violence, like development, turning communities that are underserved into being well-served. If you don't do that, then the problem continues. For us to be here today was important because it's gonna take a village for us to combat the problem of violence in our community. And what Hugh Charlotte is doing is taking the lead on figuring out how do we all come together and use all our resources and all of our talents to end the violence in our community. So stop it! Can you stop? I'm sick of this. Kings killing kings is ridiculous. Black mothers are tired of burying their sons because little boys like you want to run around and play with guns. For the last three years, Mecklenburg County, the city of Charlotte, it's been a rise in the homicides. And that right there was near dear to my heart. Wanted to make sure we're just working with the youth, knowing that 41% of those homicides are young black men killing young black men from the ages of 18 to 24. And then we wanted to lead the conversation as a community, as, as an organization, and letting you know that we care more about this than anybody else does. Even on the police end, we talk all the time, so we can't do it alone. And when you have such grassroots organizations that do such great work, they need the support behind them to be able to be successful and to have the resources they need. We have committed as a city to deal with violence as a public health issue which means you have to have programming to actually see change, data that helps us do better. We're funding and committing to the long-term effort. It's important to raise public awareness so that people can understand where they need to commit the resources and understand where the resources aren't going. The resources aren't going into development. That's why we have underserved communities. Underserved communities create at-risk youth. At-risk youth create crime. And so we want to bring public awareness to it so that we can save lives. And it's only going to be fixed by organizations that are home. That's where the investment needs to happen. We can't do thousand dollar things no more because we don't have a thousand dollar problem. HillCharlotte.org is the website to go to. Please do sign up to be a, a tutor, a mentor, a, a coach, a volunteer your time, talent, or treasure. This is not just a Hill Charlotte initiative. It is some wonderful community partners that we partner with to make this happen and they are on the front lines along with us and we all need your support. This is the beginning of a movement and an initiative that will live forever in this city. Stop the violence. We got ourselves together so that you can unite and fight for what's right, not negative cause. The way we live is positive. We don't kill our relatives.